doctor like this doctor. Ah, oh, yes, the recap. Don't look at my bad choices. See you later. Yeah, I took too long to get to her. Nice. Quit it. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Well, I guess so much for... At least I don't have to worry about missing the high five with Josh, because that means caught. you're getting closer on your on your theories for who it, it really is, but I still have more to figure out. I still have more to figure out, and I'm pretty sure there's still more to it. Well, when you were talking about the person in the chair, that is... Oh, yeah, because I feel like that person's, like, really important. Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium. Because why do I feel like maybe Hannah and Beth didn't die? What happens if they're actually alive and this is their getting revenge on the friends who played a prank on them? Well, one of them. I think one of them is dead. I got Pebbles is like, but their backs are broken. We saw the blood. That's never good. That's really not good. Mike, go get help. Mike, don't go in by yourself. Hopper? Oh, look at the bumpers! The fuzzy butts! At the crack! <laughs> I'm going through a crisis trying not to say anything. I know it's really hard when you've seen a game before, you're like, I want to help, but I also, I don't, I don't, no, spoilers. Fuzz butt. Same, same. Yeah, it's really hard. I know it's really hard. Doggos? Fuzz butts. Damn it. Those are wolves, by the way. Now I know how to get them when I played Persona 5. <laughs> Oh, there's a white one. These are pretty. All right. Let's get a closer look. I swear to God, Mike, if you kill a wolf, I will be so upset with you. I'd rather the wolf eat you than you kill the wolf. <sighs> no, they are fuzz butts. <laughs> That's why I call Ruby all the time. I'm like, fuzz butt. <laughs> you? <laughs> because I saw a guidance totem that told me to pet the wolf, so I guess I shouldn't be scared of them. Is what it was hinting. Like, don't be aggressive to the wolves. Like, don't and also don't show fear. I'm surprised the wolves don't hear me jumping and walking around. I'm also curious. Hold on. Where, how are totems looking? I'm just curious. Where are our totems at? Oh, I've missed plenty of totems. <laughs> I'm guessing these are two deaths I, like, prevented. These are two deaths I prevented. And then this was... This is Chris's death totem. Missed one guy. There's a lot of totems I missed. Oh, wow, I'm almost... If this is, like, the end of the game... I only have two more chapters? Holy shit. Now we're the whole game and say, Jess, oh, screw Jess! <laughs> but I need to go back for maybe Josh, but, you know. They look for treats. They just want the num nums. Shit, I would. I, I should try making the wolf my friend. So I'm gonna try to befriend it. You have more than two chapters. Oh really? Ten chapters? Holy shit! <laughs> never mind. Oh, never mind. Because ten hours until. Oh, that makes a oh, big brain. Oh, big job, folks. With the last chapter. <laughs> Sir, I'm lost. Housekeeping. I'm here about the job. Chapel. This is a chapel. Oh, butt butts. You only gave one bone though. You dumbass! No! Mike! They look so cute and cuddly, do you do? I need to get another bone. I swear I need to get another bone. Mike, find a bone. Oh, Jess, I need to borrow something. Yoink! <laughs> oh, fuzz buds! Gonna keep me bored. I got a PD! <laughs> are desperate times. I'm just saying. What is this? Look at that. Black 
Rockwood Pines Sanatorium. What is sanatorium? Mensan in wait. Mensana in corporate so what is sanatorium? Is that a is that um like bodies? Dead bodies? Sanatorium, like crypt? I don't remember what sanatorium is. I hear breathing. Oh. Someone really wanted to take a peek inside. This wouldn't work. Sanatorium is where people are getting treated, I assume. Yeah, I don't know. This shouldn't work. Fuck it. Fuck it. Bye. I honestly have thought of, of having a pet wolf someday, you know, get it, it when it's a cub and trade it. It depends on the state. I mean, I don't know if there's any state that would allow that. I know there's wolf hybrids. You can get wolf hybrids. An establishment for the medical treatment of people who are con convalescing or having chronic illness? Oh, so it is like just a treatment center. 30 clocking in mine cards. Let me just change my hours so I get 12 hours of overtime. I don't know why that was important. Pebbles use big brain. Oh, that's the wolves I hear. What is this? A yoink? I can sell this on eBay. It's broken. Why? All right. I'll put that down. Glad I found that. That's true. I forgot if states allow. Yeah, I was going to say because I'm technically they're like exotic. They're kind of seen as exotic animals. That's like how some states you can own a monkey and some states you can't. It's like, even in some states, you can't even own wolf hybrids. Like, you can't have, like, a wolf-slash-dog mix. Like, I know, I think in Washington, you can, if I remember correctly. Have a pet wolf, I mean, yeah. So you might have to, like, look it up. Shweek! Huh. Yeah, Alberta Post, night, night, uh, January 9th, 1952, reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines ABA reporter from the Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jeff Bragg, sole proprietor of both the Northwest Mine Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry had been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. That's what they all say. And then, and then they just kill the man. It was dealt the fans. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. So the broken camera. That we saw. That, I, that I'm going to sell on eBay. Oh, well, I will do it in the video games. <laughs> if I can't have it in real life, I will have it in the video. Kind of like Monster, Ri Monster Hunter Rise. My Poochie. It's my butt butt. It's a big rat. Let's see. Oh, this is about the miners. Um, uh, don't pick. God, da God damn it, Mike! I had two seconds. Um, what is that? That'd be June first, nineteen fifty-two. Number forty-two, minor medical report. Attending physician, Doctor N. H. F. Bowen. Medical report. Report um, follows R. E. The initial state of the twelve miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Admittance, on receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appeared um, cognizant and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Um, psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shocks of um, reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Well, yeah, because, like, you'd have kind of gone crazy in the mines. It probably, there was, they probably thought about eating each other. Though their overt health is better than expected, they do seem expected by their time in the mine. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone Brenoscopy, as it, I guess that's for bronchitis, and are prescribed a course of streptomycin, medicine, drugs. The others are simple, kept under strict 24 hour observation. Signed, um, Dr. Nicholas Henry Fallwiss. I, you see nothing. I, I see nothing then, apparently. 
So, does it have to do with the miners? It's, it makes it th makes me wonder if they dug up something they weren't supposed to. Because now we're getting hints of the. Because first it was like um like around a lot of the arson, the arson guy, and now it's like all about these miners. Unless it's like three stories in one. Like we have the kids, and then we have the arson guy who's trying to get revenge on the on like you know the family, and then we have like Hannah and Beth's ghosts that are probably out for vengeance against the group, and then we have these miners that like there's like four stories going on that all seem to like in like have influence on each other. It's a oh, it's a machete. Don't take the well, take the machete. I mean, actually, take the machete. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yoink. This is fine. Did you just put it in your back pocket? I was like, how much room do you- Don't go that way yet. Let's go this way. Actually, what is this way? Uh, no. I'll go this way. Okay. Hello? Jason doesn't like it when people take his machete. It's fine, I'm just borrowing it. Oh, well, that's fucked. What kind of, what kind of sanatorium is this? Well, it's gonna, it's go, well, it's going freaking amazing. Like sarcastically freaking amazing, or like actually like really amazing. Mister Voorhees doesn't like the shirt. I mean, I remember how he was with his mom, so I completely understand. I don't know why I needed to see the chair though. It seems like it was a very old, like, say, uh, like a saint asylum. Like, it seems like it was a, it was an asylum that kind of used like practices, like, like old practices that are like outlawed and illegal now. Anything over here? Just looking. How many days will uh, they keep is, us what, here? Could, uh, who? The miners. I wonder if they were being held against their will, like they wanted to go home and they couldn't. It's actually, oh, okay, I was like, I was like, I was like, like, like it's freaking amazing. Like, like you know, sarcasm, I'm like, oh, well, I'm glad it's going good. Yeah, that's why I was like, I had to clarify, I'm like, are you sarcastic amazing? Really amazing? Oh, <gasps> Fuzzbutt. You need to find a biscuit. Fuzzbutt want a biscuit, you need to find a biscuit. <laughs> Mike, find a biscuit. Reply immediately. Reply immediately, reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Western Province Telecommunications Co Telegram. Something, 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 something. Dr. Richards Castle Blackboard Sanitarium to Mr. J. Bragg. Incident update 12 survivors received at sanatorium, showing signs of mental trauma may need to contain. Local press now have scent of blood. Become a problem. Please advise further. I've gone from four hours a day to nine hours. I need help. I mean, I've, trust me, I've played. Games I get like really into, I like get addicted to and I just play them constantly. Like I kinda did that with Genshin. I think it's, it's not a bad thing. It just means you like the game. I mean, again, it comes and goes. Like I always have one game that I just play like all the time and then I move over to like a different game. Well, hello, Skelly. How are you, Skelly? <laughs> this is a creepy angle of just a skull in my face. Oh, so you should play Smite with me. I, trust me, that that is not the, yes, Pebble. <laughs> That is not the game I'm addicted to right now. Like right now I'm like, actually what game app? I've been wanting to play more Dead by Daylight at the moment. Um, and then also I've, I have like this little puzzle game I've been playing off stream. I think the haunted house is, the haunted house is, high five. <laughs> the haunted house is closed, we're coming back later. <laughs> but yeah, DBD and I'm kind of slowly getting back into Genshin, but it's just I've been busy with like cleaning the house for when my Nana comes tomorrow. She actually comes tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Um, and then um, editing and stuff. So I've been busy. Very slow. Pebbles! Don't leave me hanging, Pebbles! <laughs> I know you've been working hard at it, so I mean... Whoa, whoa. Don't feel too nervous. Whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? Wait, was he feeling, feeding them an actual arm? What are you, what are you grabbing? Yo, I missed. Also, this game gives me hell of anxiety. Have you played it before? This is my first time. It's a major milestone. Yeah, exactly. It's a major milestone. Oh, 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 oh fuck! Oh, what kind oh, of saw oh, shit is this? Oh, oh, you, oh. oh, oh. Time to cut off the thingies! 
Open bear trap, amber cheap fingers. Open bear trap, you might just get your other hand caught. I can watch. Yeah, because opening a bear trap, if you make the wrong mistake, you lose your whole hand. Oh, fuck. Hurry up and cut the finger. I was like, I think I have to do it. Cut chop the. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Quick. Just oh, quick. Shit. oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Just like a band aid pipe. <laughs> there you go. Well, hopefully that wasn't your dominant hand. I feel like I'm playing Heavy Rain again. In Heavy Rain, I chopped off the guy's fingers too. That's why I kind of like Mike. I think he goes through the roughest of you think so, really? You should have opened it. Thank you. You cut the fingers. Listen, I didn't want to risk losing the whole hand. I'd rather lose two fingers than the whole hand. Oh, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, damn it, fit, no, fuck, ass, fuck. It's always funny when they get upset, they just start swearing over it. Hippie. Are you humming to yourself? I don't, go, I don't know what the fuck to go. Okay. Take your fingers. Maybe they can put them back on later. Take your fingers. Do, 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 do. Screw you, hand. I don't even remember which way I came into this room. Is it this way? I'm so lost. Wait. Oh no, we're going backwards. Bro, take the fingers. That's okay. That one zooms in. Like, look at your shame. I'm sorry. Poor Mike. And again, at least Mike, he might be a douchebag, but at least, like, he chased after Jessica. Like, he didn't have to. You could have easily just left Jessica. What is that? This oh. place just gets better and better. Oh, that's comforting. But he got this no ice to put. I mean, there's snow outside. Just make a little snowball and just put him in, you know? It'll be fine. It's cold enough. This is haunted. I don't think I could ever work at like a morgue or like anything that has dead bodies, by the way. That, that's just a curse. That's just asking to be cursed or possessed. There um, were his. Oh my god! Really, Baron? Why are we opening up the body? Why is this a thing? Oh, sick. Mike? Oh, oh, hell no! Nah. Oh, Mike, close it! Put it back, Mike! What are you taking? The key card? Oh, yeah, I need to clock in for my work. Is it so that I can open the door? Okay, let's check this out. Put the, bot put the body back! Can you put the body back, please? I feel like if we leave this out, it's gonna come alive. Oh, look, it's like Buffy after her supper. Listen! <laughs> I don't have like little pieces of taco falling out of my mouth. Just let me doink. Time to put out another dead body. Oh, there's nothing in here. I'm more suspicious of the one lacking the dead body. What's this? Name of deceased Sarah Smith, date of death, February 24th, 1952. I hereby certify that I attended deceased from March 8th, 1951 to February 24th, 1952, and last saw her alive on February 24th, 1952. Cause of death, severe lacerations to the admin, um, internal abdominal injuries and subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external cause, violence. That is the worst excuse. How did she die? Violence. I'm like, that doesn't help me. Fill in also the following. Accident, suicide, or homicide. Um, homicide. Manner. Oh, I see. If death was due to external cause of violence, fill out the fall. Okay. And then she said, accident, uh, suicide, or homicide, fill out the homicide. Manner of injury, laceration by sharp implement, Possible fingernails? Those are some long fingernails, if that's the case. Additional notes, please use the box provided overly for an additional relevant information. Signed by um, N. Bowen, M.D., Blackwood Sanitarium. Just... There's nothing. Oh, wait, no, there's like a tag. Is this the tag that I was trying to grab off that hand? Why does it say... It shows the neck part. Emergency medical tag name, Nicholas Bowen. Tag date, February 24th, 1952. Description, attacked by inmate, fatal lacerations. So I was going to say, is it... Bowen the doctor? Because been, it, everything's been signed Dr. Nicholas Bowen. So the doctor died because he was attacked by it. Well, maybe if you were a better doctor. Just saying. Maybe people wouldn't want to attack you. I'm trying to think of like multiplayer like horror games. 
You could play Yoink. Mana Medin? You could do Mana Medin. That's a multiplayer ghost. Uh, I haven't played it, but I know it's multiplayer. DVD? I mean, there is DVD. I'm trying to think more, like, storyline-wise, though. Just in case it's, like, you're looking for more story than, like, multiplayer. And also, DVD is not, like, super scary. I mean, for people who don't like horror, it can, the jump scares can be good from, like, depending on what killer. By the way, Mike. Oh, that's right, because it was got it got jammed, so he just left it. Is this a quaint little psycho crib? Oh, so fancy. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, Mike, what is with you and jumping down from the good spooky? A little bit spooky. <laughs> yeah, I was actually scared more of Outlast 2 than the first one. Right. But I think also Outlast 2, like, creeped me out more than anything. It wasn't, like, a scare factor. It was more, like, creepy. Like, there were some creepy vibes to that game. Yeah, there were some creepy vibes to the second one. The, the first one definitely had, like, your adrenaline going. And some good jump scares. Let me just... Doom. I like how he takes the card. Thank you. Don't punch it. Don't punch it. Don't punch it. Okay. Be nice. Be nice to the fuzz butt. Easy boy. Well, because we know it doesn't attack humans because it has a human Easy. as an owner. That's a good one. You just gotta be nice to it. Let it smell your hand. Rub its belly. Pet this doggo this instant. You pet this doggo. Oh. Approach? Back away. Friend doggo. I was gonna say, I'm like, just, just be slow about it. That's right. Yeah, see? Just let him smell you. Easy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Aww. What's butt? Hey, guy. See? You like Friendly. That? This is why you don't punch dogs yeah. in the face. Dog is friend. And everyone likes a little loving, right? Yeah, because he has a human owner, so I don't think he's just going to outright attack a human. Of course, he's going to be territorial and kind of aggressive because he just opened the door in his face and it probably scared him, and you're a new human, but yeah, good popper. Who's a good puppy? Hey guy. Oh, I didn't mean to go back. You like that? <gasps> Aww. Look, we love like appreciate you, purple. Right? Hope you're having a good day, a good week. And hope rainbow may go down soon. Well. I feel like this is important. The lights on it. Dog is fed. Dodge. What is this? So, what have we here? Mike, are you stealing clothes now? Protect dog. I feel like the dog might actually protect me now. I feel like actually the dog might help me. Did you just steal a coat? Why do you look like... What are we reaching oh, for? Oh, Mike, I don't know if you think you're Mr. Fantastic or what, but there is no way... What are you doing? I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. Yeah, I feel like the dog might protect me. The jacket nice. he's wearing makes him look like another survivor character from another game. I just can't place it. I mean, you could have just. Did you even try the door? No. All right. That does do it. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I broke your shell. You have a nice doggo, though. Pretty dog. Nice dog. Makes him look like Jake. There, we go. Thank you, Cody. That's what it was. I was like trying to figure out. I'm like, so it looks like somebody, but I can't think about it. Bigfoot sighted. Um, local man found dead. So it's a lot of like supernatural, like. But Bigfoot, you know, like monsters in the woods kind of thing. So I see like claw marks, like shadow figures. So the guy believed Bigfoot was real. Or whoever this person is. 
do, 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 do. Well, if this is like sacred ground for that one guy, the arson guy, maybe like he thought Bigfoot was like a spiritual like guide or like something like like you know a guardian of the sacred grounds. So, he's a smoker. Are you literally taking the man's cigar? A person's cigar? I shouldn't even say man. I don't even know if it's a man. At least you put it back. It looks like a uh, more like a jerky stick than anything. Do, 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 do. I have to be very. Where's actually the other doggo? I think the other doggo was the one I shut behind the door. That one was me. Oh. My I guess I'll keep the wolves fat and happy. This looks like a human bone. Did you. We're gonna get to doggo. Doggo, I have present. I've waited for this moment. Dog got all excited. You heard the dog go. Arr, arr, arr. Dog go, I hear a biscuit. Well, more than a biscuit. Yeah, that's it. Listen, the way to yeah. anyone's heart, like whether animal or person, is food. Easy, boy. Dog is now Easy. best friend. Went from friend to best friend. Outlast Two is definitely. It's eh, but also it's got a lot of really, like, creepy, like, almost, like, really fucked up shit in it. Oh my- Really? Did you not find, like, a crowbar or a stick? Satanism is a shit. That's not even, like, the- that's not even, like, the fucked up part. I'm not even talking- stuff I'm talking about. Like, I was more, like- Concerned and disturbed during the Outlast 2 game than actually scared. They did dead baby well. What dead baby? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm trying to think what you're talking about. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I remember that. Yeah, I never know. I like how he's so nonchalant now. I cut off my two fingers. I almost got attacked by a wolf. My girlfriend's dead. This is fine. Just nonchalantly, it's fine. There's a lot of good ones. Like Among the Sleep is a good one. So there's a lot of, of good ones. Of course, locked. Why don't you shoot this lock? Mike. Okay. Why did you have to move the barrel? Was it in the way that, why is he, oh my God. This man should never hold a gun. Did you notice how he pointed the gun and then he looked away? No. <laughs> this man should not be allowed to hold a gun. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Mike, look what you did. Mike, run. Mike, run. Mike, run. Mike, no. Oh, my God. Mike? Mike. At least the bathtub's ready. Oh, so somebody's watching us. He's probably fine. It's fine. I mean, he's lost two fingers. Maybe he has a bird leg now. I think he's fine. Oh, so they're controlling. This is literally like saw. Fire go boom. Oh, he's I don't know why he dumped the barrel over. So literally somebody's like playing a saw game with them. They're literally playing with them. Dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really oh, true. Oh, you want to make sure Josh is dead? I'm pretty sure he's dead. No, he dies in explode. Never happens. No, you're right. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Yeah, you don't want to see that. Emily, even though I hate you, you don't want to see that. Wait, isn't this the tram station? Oh, no. Mac, do not get on the tram with this woman. This tram is cursed. Leave the tram. <laughs> but can you figure out who is it is before the game tells you? Well, I thought it was Josh. Because for the longest time, I thought Josh was trying to get revenge um, for his sisters. But now I don't think it's Josh because Josh is dead. Josh is like hella dead. Unless he faked his death. But I don't know how you would fake something like that. So I'm thinking it's either Hannah or Beth. Like, I feel like one of them survived and Josh was just lying about them being dead. Or about them being like, like they found them. It's just that he never reported them being found. Or, or the stupid now, doctor psychopath. Lock, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? 
Whoa, wait a second. If we start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, Emma. What about... Look! What? Maybe you were right, maybe you're wrong? <sighs> That's great, Matt. I can just tell right? my lip what palm about? through that little slot. <sighs> don't, I gotta go. On. Now, have a nice day. I appreciate you, talk again. Congratulations. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Smash door, help Emily through... Fuck it. <laughs> Emily, get your butt! Do something useful. Get in the window. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole. I've seen you slip into some pretty. Either I help you in or uh, I push you in. It's a I will yeet you through this window, woman. You get again, in that like window. No can do. For one thing, that maybe you are probably just sitting there have a good under that day. window, waiting to blend us into pina coladas. <sighs> okay, fine. Here it goes. Oh, no, either talk. way, it's gonna make me bust open the door. Shh, just do it. Just, just do it. God! This, oh my god, Matt, that is the weakest. Eh. Look, look what you did, Matt. Eh. Couldn't they have just broken the window with the axe and unlocked it from the other side? They really have to bust the entire door. Oh my god, that is the worst light. I appreciate that Undertale Dog look, always looks fuzzy and real. Yeah, I do like it's kind of like the old, like, kind of like 90s, like old kind of horror. Just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck die, is die, going die, on? Die, it's gotta be the guy, the, the one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's gotta know this is the only way back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this this tram is booby trapped, Matt. Do not get on the tram. The cable cars all the way out there. Apparently, well, I, I mean, that's not God far, forbid we use right? keys in this game. Jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. We're not jumping We're to not the tram, bad. Em. I'm flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna stay here and I'm not die. Home. I just hate when games give you a choice, but it's not really a choice. Like, either way, it's like, you're gonna break the storm, whether you like it or not. We're taking your time, Cody, I appreciate you. It gave me, like, a thing to look here. I guess I just go in, let's just go. Do, do, do. Yeah, I highly, highly, what do you call it? Place was barely in working what do you call it? I do not want to get on that tram. Like, if it was my opinion, I would be like, stay off the tram. Oh, there's a radio tower. A ranger, it's a ranger tower. Hey, look, fire tower. Or fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Yeah, that's a death trap. Do not get on that. I highly recommend do not get on the tram. Do not. I repeat. Very friendly. <laughs> unfollow. Unfollow? Did she just say unfollow? Unfriendly. Unfollow. Let me just... Neutral run? There's different... Let me just back. There's no way for me to interact with this? Just back? Oh, we need a key. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower? Oh, on the, the fire tower we talked about? Well, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. Oh my god, you are so needy. Agree, we need that radio. Let's head back. Uh, well, do disagree, like, head back to the house? I don't think the house is safe. I think getting help would be probably the most beneficial right now, so I'm gonna say agree. We can use the radio to It's actually the help. smartest thing Emma's Somebody's ever said, even though it was technically Matt's idea in the first place. She just took it. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. Ma'am, I'm about to smack you. What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Oh my god, I hate Rule this girl. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is oh always right. Oh my god. Right. Oh my god, I hate... People like this. Where, where, where are you going, ma'am? Ma'am. Oh, hold up. Ma'am. Ma'am. What are you That's trying to reach? Good looking. <laughs> Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Where? What is? What is uh, the logic here? Uh, oh, it's a ladder. Like I saw like the little I thought it was just like a like railing or like the the what do you call it how the wall was supported. I didn't think it was a ladder. Why would you put a ladder there? That seems really unsafe. Oh my god. Emily? No rush. 
Let's take your time. This bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. Just go back to the house, Bat. She'll Just be... like magic. Come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Oh yeah, totally. We can. We'll be fine. I don't know why. I don't know why Emily got <laughs> put in charge. You're all right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first. Oh, would you thanks, protect Emily. me? To protect me. I swear to God. Okay. okay, easy now. Listen, I can't catch you if I'm in front of you. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Are you gonna? Are you just gonna stand there, Emily? Oh. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli! Thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Whew. Whew. Emily, I, this is why you're not in charge. Just the most dangerous way. Why didn't we just use the axe to get through these wooden? Unless these aren't wood. Instead of having to go the most dangerous way. Wait, is that a totem? That's a totem. What is this? Yellow? Guidance? It's a guidance totem, right? Guidance. Yeah, guidance. Oh, I thought she was gonna kill him. I was like, I knew it! <laughs> that backstabbing bitch in her flare gun. But no, she was like giving it to him. Do 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 What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. Well, but even if there's no if radio, usually there's at least a. I think a there's plan. constantly a ranger at Ranger Maybe. Towers, if I remember correctly. There's supposed to be like always we somebody just there. Climb down. Climb down I don't really know how fire towers work. Are you but serious? I would think there would be somebody at least maybe there to help. What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. Oh, it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. I mean, we could have taken the map with us. The meta help. We would have missed. Mike died? No, Mike did not die. We should find a <laughs> no, no. He made it, we made a friend with a doggo. We, had, we have a fuzz butt friend. Figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. I mean, she does have a point. Going back to the lodge is probably the most unsafe thing to do right now. This does not seem safe. I don't trust it. Not gonna lie, everyone survive is pretty difficult. I heard that like that's really hard to get like everybody through. I mean, at least I have like three quarters of, of them still alive. Where's this going? I don't follow you anymore, Emily. I heard a cow? Huh? I heard a... What is that? That's a phone. Best phone. Holy shit. I was like, this Whoa, is an old this phone. Is best phone. I thought the police like swept the area. Well, it looks like they missed this. But somebody hit it, cause you know that's like the phone wouldn't just fall under the thing like that. Into the oh, no, you can't go this way. I like M's like, God, Matt, hurry up. No, remember how her phone dropped? Oh, that's right. During the chick, that's right. So what? Do you think it just fell through the cracks though? Like, that would have to be like, hmm, I didn't notice that part. I know she dropped it. Oh, another to- this is- this is a death totem. Looks like it anyways, unless it's a warning. Oh no, it's fortune. So Ashley will save Chris? Huh. I wonder if the totems play like an actual really important part to like your choices. Like, does that actually help me save Chris now? Because I saw it. I guess, it, again, they kind of just warn of the future. Totems are hints. It seems like they're just kind of like, yeah, they're like hints. Let me just... Oh, this seems safe. Dan, Watch where you step around here, Emma. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a of snowy... I swear, smartass, I am going to push you off this cliff. I'm leaving. What are we doing here? Why do we even go towards the cliff in the first place? It's the Banshee. It's the Forest Banshee. I don't know. Jesus! Shit. That's a lot of elk. Oh my god. Damn. Oh my god, I would be so scared. Listen, like, elk are super aggressive if they get to- And that's a lot of bull elks. 
there would be never that many bull elks together. They would be more, like, again, it's usually, like, one male and a bunch of females. Not that many bull- Oh my god, has Sam literally been taking a bath this entire time? What do you even do against that? Because you can't really run, they'll just chase after you. Has- I'd like to- Like, I just accept my death at first? Oh my god, that's creepy. Sam, why are you taking a bath? Because she doesn't know anything that's been going on, right? She doesn't realize things have been going on. Did he just leave her in the bathtub? Hello? But has she not heard anybody screaming or anything? Or like, you know, felt Guys. a disturbance of the horse? He could have killed her. Or he. What are you doing I say, out there? I use he loosely. Creepy. Because they could have killed her, but they didn't. Okay. So. Unless they just don't want to yet. Now she just jamming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least the the madman is very respectful. Durgan, I need this bathtub. <laughs> I have a mighty need. I don't even need a shower. Just this giant bathtub. Bathtub. Durgan is even here. Well, I mean, I don't know if he's in the chat, but he's he's here. Cause he gave me a stroke when he just opened the door when I was middle, in the middle of a decision. Which was just like, hi, Stephanie, I'm home. I was like, <laughs> oh, he set up another game. It's gonna be like how um, Mike had to choose, oh not Mike, Chris had to choose between Ashley and um, Josh. It's gonna be another choice, I bet. Are you yelling at me? I have bought the damn pop. Yeah, 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 just say it. I just really like this bathtub. Nightwing, Nightwing, what do you call it, clipped it for you. I'm not, I'm not sad that Josh died. I kind of feel like Josh was like setting up, like again, I feel like Josh might not be dead. Maybe that was like he made it look like he died, but he actually didn't. They're not like if he was too high. I mean, most of them seem like they're either drunk or on drugs. <laughs> my nana has a grandfather clock that's like been passed down for generations. Like it was like a great, it was like my great grandfather's grandfather clock, and then my grandfather's, and then it was passed down to her, and then she's gonna pass it down to me. I love that clock. It's so beautiful. But sometimes the chimes do startle you. Chris? Double shame stuff every time she wants house cosmetics. Hi, <laughs> Emily. God forbid. This is, is it so bad that I just out of I, hand, okay? I can it was dream all very Durgan. funny. Haha. <laughs> Look God at Sam walking dream. around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over. All right. Also, show Ashley enough. at the house. Oh, that's a picture of. Listen. Shame. Shame. Cause I remember there was a door that they ran through. Shame. Right? Do I need to unlock that door for them so they can get through? Cause I feel like I need to unlock that door. To... Oh. So, oh so... Hello, Sam. I want to play again. No, not right now, Jigsaw. I'm in another horror game. Maybe later. <laughs> yeah, because I know it showed a door. I'm wondering I if I've done like. Oh, they took her clothes. I didn't even realize that the guy took her clothes. What is that? I mean. That's... Oh, well. This place is haunted. Do it. This place is hot. Oh, well. Good times. Good times with the zombies. I knew I should have closed those more morgue shut. Um, the vivid, the body shelf things in the morgue. Just kind of left it open. Do I check the door? It's locked. Oh, well. I don't know how Chris and what's this? So what do we have here? Meat processing. Yoink. Um, one times circular saw, five times replacement blades, January 15th, Thursday, 12 to 5. So that's the saw that was used for the Josh incident. There's a lot of doors in here. York? Oh, no? Okay. Oh. Who locked all the Wouldn't she be questioning why all the doors are locked? Like, excuse me, who's locking the doors? Do, do, do. I guess I follow the balloons. I guess I should probably follow the balloons. <laughs> Fuck your balloons. Be in the kitchen. You in the kitchen cooking something, something up? up? <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is a picture of the family, right? Oh no, it's the one with um, Hannah, Sam, Emma, and Mike, right? Yeah. Or Emma. I keep saying Emma, but it's M. Ready for the senior prom? So exciting. This is a picture of Hannah and Josh. I feel like those pictures weren't there before, but I might be wrong. Okay, 
if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. What is up here, though? There's nothing up here? Because they lit candles over here. There's the weird, creepy sheet that looks like a ghost. I swear, that thing, that sheet's gonna move at some point. When I least expect it. Well, there's a door. Can you open this one? Why is the house locked? Down the stairs. Down the stairs, woman. Do, do, do. Oh, she's not even letting me control anymore. She's like, I got this. I was like, why isn't she taking a can- Well, that's probably better than a candle. How are you guys? This is a very oh, meticulous, so like, killer. They lit, like, so many candles. Jason, is that you? By the way, I may have a- hey. <gasps> Guys, come on! <gasps> oh, I'm done with this! I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here. Are you at a theater in this lodge cabin? They have their own theater. This is something I've actually always wanted. Like, if I ever got, like, a lot of money, I would want to have my own, like, little theater for, like, movie nights and stuff. Looking for me? Oh my I don't God. think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what Satan? I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. Going I feel like a lot of dirt's about to be spilled out about her friends. Oh, my God. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? A beautiful bathing bird. What? Do you think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why are you life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? I mean, it's herself. It's not like she's peeping Tommy herself. Josh. How does it make you feel? Oh yeah. What did you do? I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. Or the mines. What? What was happening here? Uh, no, run! Keep running. I feel like you need to get as much distance away from the man as possible. Oh! Ah! Oh, well, never mind. Bye, Sam. Sleepy sleep. Why did they say sorry though? Like they didn't see. They felt bad about it. They said so sorry. Oh well. That's unfortunate. Now, that was exciting, wasn't it? Well done! The game at least, seems to be going very well. At least well. the room is somewhat normal. Yes. 
Oh, the good work I did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm-hmm. Your overwhelming fear. Is that a snake? Of the dark. Snake? You have turned it against these people who use it desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't know it was such a thing. I plead the fifth. Wait, so am I the psychopath? So I'm the guy in the mask talking to the dog? 